If you are a little bit nosy and itchy to know what caused rapper Jeezy to pull the plug on his marriage with TV personality Jenny Mai, then you are not alone. The most of us are too. Since the news of their separation hit the internet, the S couples have been on several different individual interviews but have never mentioned what really happened to their marriage and even the interviewers were careful to not ask the questions that was on everybody's mind but let's just say actress Nia Long did us all a favor by asking the most wanted question as it concerns Jeezy and Jeannie Mai's divorce but before we get into Jeezy's response hey royalties kings and queens welcome back to the channel if this is your first time you are so welcome i'm hoping you like it here and be a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and to my returning subscribers you guys at re mvp thank you so we found out in September that a 46-year-old rapper Jeezy filed for divorce from his ex-wife of two years for the four-year-old media personality Jeannie Mai. While this news came as a shocker, speculations began to fly around about what made Jeezy fight for divorce. Could he be cheating? Cultural differences? Too much extended family intrusion? Disrespect? and many more but nothing really was substantial enough or confirmed by the parties involved. You can check out my other videos on the divorce to look up the details. But in a new conversation between actress Nia Long and Jay Wing Jenkins titled I Might Forgive But I Don't Forget, Nia Long finally faced the elephant in the room and asked what everyone has been wanting to know about what led Jeezy to file for divorce and so for the first time Jeezy spoke about his divorce publicly. So in this interview or should I say conversation, Jeezy was vulnerable, talking about his life as a little kid, what he had to deal with growing up, abuse, molestation, issues with his mama, dad, homies, betrayer, and y'all I tell you it was so touching to hear and it gave some sort of clarity to who he was and why he does the things he does. Nia Long began stepping in the relationship to reign by talking about the dismantlement of the black family, asking why black men and women can't sit down in a space and have really open dialogues about things like what she and Jeezy were talking about. So Nia Long has had her own share of betrayal with the coach in mad cheating scandal situation. So in the conversation she throws in her personal experiences here and there, what and how she would react to certain situations and in one of those instances she mentions stepping away if the other person is not ready to put in the work to make them successful. So Jeezy asked her if she could do that if there were kids involved. Let's hear it. He said if it couldn't work then you would leave. Yes. Even if there was a family, well, even if there was kids involved. If the other person is not willing to do the deep, hard work, wow. then you stay. And when you stay, you have to make yourself smaller to stay, I to survive. I thousand percent agree with you. Eventually, Neil Long cut to the chase and hit the nail right on the head, saying it would not be fair to Jeezy to be this vulnerable in this dialogue and not talk about what made him file for divorce. This is what he said. But hold up, don't get up your hopes too high. He said a mouthful without really spilling the actual tea. But let's hear it together. Maybe you'll comprehend better than I did. It's not been a easy journey. Right. Um, I can tell you that I'm saddened. I can tell you that I'm disappointed. I can tell you that I'm uneasy, mm. right? But again, like God has put me in a different path and that path is going to entail for me to take care of myself and to love myself and to be in the best situation that I can thrive. I told y'all he said a lot without really saying anything, leaving us more confused with more speculations. But in my honest opinion, Nia's lack of empathy per se for Jenny Mai in her response and body language to Jeezy as he talked about it tells me Jeezy probably told her what happened off camera in confidence and she's totally unimpressed with Jenny Mai or she doesn't care as much because she's still navigating her own hurt. However, some of the key words Jeezy used were integrity, sardine, disappointment, uneasy, and all of that only means the other person did him dirty or was unwilling to put in the work. 
Talking about putting in the work, Jeezy responded to Nia's question about if therapy was considered. He affirmed that he went to therapy with Jenny Mai. They put in the work, but things still did not work. That alone tells me that a divorce, after all, may not have blindsided Jenny Mai as speculated because you go to therapy when you have troubles with your relationship. So their marriage, in fact, was faced with issues behind the glitz, Insta videos, travels and trips and cute moments ever before the divorce, just like many other relationships in real life. But what is unclear is if Jeezy pulled the plug on their marriage while they were still trying to fix it. If that was the case, it would still mean he blindsided her. Yes, we have problems. Yes, we're trying to resolve it. But I didn't think it was that bad to the point where you are quitting on us completely. That's two different things. From this conversation with Nia Long, Jeezy passed the notion that he is sad by this decision to end his marriage. He in fact said in his own words, I'm going through something horrid in my life right now. I'm at a place where I failed at something that I would have gave my life for to work. Hmm. That speaks volume, you guys. I'm not sure if this is all about PR cleaner because that conversation was too genuine and felt too real to be about all that. But isn't that what PR is all about? To rally our emotions in back to supporting an individual? But, well, what are your thoughts on that, you guys? I'm hoping Jeezy is present for his daughter Monaco because what's on the street have it that? Once he's separated from his baby mamas, he pays no minds to his kids. I'm hoping he would act differently with his youngest and legal child Monaco born onto him in a legal marriage. Because so far since the divorce news, Monaco has been seen with her mom Jenny in LA while Jeezy in Atlanta and busy around touring, promoting whatever he's got going on. It was evidently obvious in a recent video posted by Jenny Mai that Jeezy is not actively present in their child's life. Life, as this little girl is seen dancing to baby shark with mama shark auntie shark uncle shark grandpa and grandma shark but no daddy shark also she was alone with her mom at a pumpkin patch for halloween there are also alleged news that jizzy is unwilling to pay for child support i'm hoping all that is false and that he would be present for his child and really all his kids Given how much he spoke about his relationship with his son and how much of a good dad he tries to be in the conversation with Nia, I think it's only right he does so. Also from the conversation and the final words he said about forgiving and not forgetting, it's clear that there is no hope for this marriage. It is over for real. So those were the major tea Jesus spilled at this time and here are a few reactions from the streets. This user says, hold on, when did Nia get into journalism? I'm late to the party. <laughs> I know, that's right. I'm thinking the same thing. By the way, she did a great job. And this user says, that woman did something unfathomable to this man. Men just don't file for divorce like this. I can feel that hurt, but I do appreciate him keeping it respectful. If therapy couldn't even help, then it's major, major. This other person says, he said a whole bunch of nothing. What are you getting the divorce for? This auntie says, so my theory is that racism surfaced and Jeezy addressed it, but realized it's deeply embedded in your culture. Another user says, plot twist, Jeezy plus Nia, the couple we never knew we needed. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. What are y'all thinking about that? Are you also thinking like this user? This person says, all he talked about was him, not his wife, not his child, but what was comfortable for him. That's a narcissist. Marriage ain't comfortable. Being a father ain't comfortable. Life ain't comfortable. You can't just pick and choose when it's most beneficial for you. And this answer says she had to make a some type of racial law for him to not want to work it out. You don't know how this Asian woman can be sometimes. And this uncle says, I'm not gonna lie, him relating with Nia so well makes me believe that she cheated. I could be wrong hmm. you know and this comment had a whooping 6904 and means a lot of people were agreeing with that as you can see a lot of people were in agreement with what this person is saying there's a greed don't believe that well you know women can cheat you know a lot of people were in agreement do you all also think that that him relating with Nia on this situation 
And Nia also talking about them sharing a lot of similarities more than they know. Could that really be that Jenny might cheat it? But personally, I don't think so. Because if he was cheating, I don't see Jesse going to therapy to walk over cheating with Jenny Mai because he also mentioned in that conversation that real men don't cheat like real dudes, real brothers. They ought to have some sort of integrity for themselves and also to their partners. So I'm thinking if he has that kind of mindset about real men not cheating, I don't see him tolerating cheating to the point of going to work it out by going to therapy. Nah, I don't see GZ doing that. So I don't really think it's about cheating. But what are your thoughts, you guys? After everything that GZ had said, after the tea, what did you deduce from the tea he spilled? Do you have an idea of what you think really cost the divorce? Share your thoughts, you guys, in the comment section. And let's continue this conversation in the comments. You know, I love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you did get to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay <laughs> bye bye